This is Rugby Merlin and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my reaction to uh, New Zealand versus England. Uh, hell of a test match, uh, very enjoyable. The full-time whistle has just blown and uh, yeah, uh, England again, they run uh, New Zealand very close. Um, you have to say that uh, it was there for them again, but uh, incredible character by the New Zealand team. Uh, to come through and uh, snatch that victory out of the jaws of defeat up there at the Eden Park. Um, there's one talking point really that you can't really avoid and that is the impact that uh, Bowden Barrett had when he came on. I, I could call this video the Barrett show because in the first half Geordie Barrett was incredible in defence for New Zealand. He seemed to pop up everywhere at the last ditch where he was required and uh, he's such a phenomenal defender. I think people forget that he's got a great boot, um, he's a big strong lad, but his reading of the game um, is very, very good. And uh, I think without the Barrett's today, I think uh, New Zealand would have been in a lot more trouble than uh, they eventually were. Uh, yeah, uh, Bowden Barrett though, again, when he came on, as he did last week, really, uh, but this week it was emphasised more. Uh, he just completely changed the game. Um, New Zealand were on the back foot for the majority of the first like 50, 60 minutes, I think it was, until he came on. Uh, England were guilty, really, of not converting that pressure into points. And uh, there's something they'll have to look at. I mean, I don't understand why the drop kick is no more of a thing. Uh, like, of course you want to try, but to, just to keep that scoreboard ticking over. I think with Marcus Smith on as well, who's very good at that, it, that could have been an option for them. And even if it's just to make the uh, New Zealand defence uh, second guess what England are going to do. But uh, anyway, uh, that's food for thought for another time. But uh, yeah, um, uh, when Demac and uh, Bowden Barrett got on, uh, look dangerous because you're never sure who's going to be first receiver and uh, that added a bit of doubt into the England uh, defence and they weren't able to rush up as much. Um, also a little bit of fatigue, Itoji who played fantastically in the first half, um, as I said uh, I went live actually uh, second half, um, second half interval and uh, yeah he was a real pest disrupting uh, all of the uh, New Zealand ball particularly in the lineup, but uh, he seemed to tire significantly in the second half. Um, he should have really brought him off, but he ended up coughing up quite a few penalties. Um, yeah, and when uh, Barrett changed the game, he went to 18-17 to New Zealand, and you, you knew then that there was going to be like a big challenge to England's mindset. Like, do they believe they can win, you know? And... Uh, yeah, that's what that psychological psychological aspect of playing at Eden Park against the All Blacks comes in. And uh, from that point on, I uh, never really felt like uh, England um, believed they were going to take it. It was a bit of a controversial decision at the end, uh, rolling more and uh, England seemed to, it, it did look like it was held up, but uh, the referee and his, um, his uh, compadres, in the uh, in the TMO box, um, they ended up, I think, giving a penalty to New Zealand, which was a, a bit of a, a sour way to end the match. But um, yeah, it ended up 24-17. And uh, yeah, from the second half performance, I think, um, you know, New Zealand were worth it. Again, England missed opportunities to, to just extend their lead on the scoreboard. And I think, uh, particularly in the first half, they will rue that fact. Uh, in terms of personal performances, Reese was good again. Freddie Stewart had a decent match. D Mac again, is he an outside half? I'm not sure. Um, I would kind of like uh, prefer to have Bowden Barrett there uh, because such an influential player, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Perifeta, like, okay again. Um, not didn't set the world alight. A few like off kicks. Um, the uh, New Zealand pack were kind of outplayed in the first half, but they, they came to life. Fletcher Newell played uh, very well in the uh, second half, uh, and 
got uh, New Zealand a very important scrum penalty. So, uh, yeah, uh, a <laughs> epic test match. Let's be honest, that was good. Nice to watch. Uh, kind of uh, feel like again it was one that got away in England. Uh, you know, they a lot of young players, Feo Abusu and uh, slight home skinning uh, Sebu Reese was <laughs> was crazy. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, lots to look forward to. I think in the future, uh, it's going to be a nice uh, little uh, ongoing rivalry. I think between these two teams, and I, I'm here for it. So, uh, on to the next match now: uh, Wales versus Australia. So my prediction of uh, Northern Hemisphere clean sweep is already <laughs> been done and dusted. So there you go. Shows how much I know. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the match and uh, cheers.